Hey guys, it's WizTK, and today I was going to go over my League Play classes. I'm going to try to speed through them a little bit, especially since it's just building off my last video. Um, since there, there have been some new GAs, so let's check them out. So for the Optic, Millstopper, Microflex, um, I use the Millstop. It zooms in a little bit more. I like to see my entire screen, especially with the Krig being a longer range weapon. Standard for the Krig is the Ranger Barrel. You get the bullet velocity, so your bullets connect more at longer ranges. Another standard is the field agent grip, especially important on the 5 attachment because we do not have a muzzle. This gives you a little bit of recoil control vertically. Last wrap, last stock. Very standard on all ARs. I changed my pistol a little bit. Um, I still use the muzzle brake because I don't want the horizontal recoil control reduction. I switched from extended to chrome line because my bullets hit a little bit farther and brings up the bullet velocity to about the same, actually the exact same as the 7.4U base. 24 round, had nothing changed there. I still run the speed tape. Um, you can run the airborne elastic wrap. I'm never laying down with my pistol. I don't like the shooting move speed reduction and I hate the sprint to fire time reduction. So, The only two GAs I don't follow in league play is I will run perk read and I will run gearhead. Um, I tried for a while not to but you know if you can't beat them join them. There's way too many trophies in the game and it just puts myself at a disadvantage not to have them. They take out gearhead, they take out overkill, I'd be more than happy. The gunfighter is the exact same setup except I have an infantry compensator and a 40 round mag. So with the XM4, when you ran five attachments, the iron sights were so terrible, you would usually sacrifice your muzzle to have a sight of some sort. The QBZ's iron sights are actually pretty solid, so you can run a muzzle brake, a ranger barrel, the field agent grip, last stock, last wrap. Um, I don't use that class very often, but it is a nice alternative, especially when the other team is really good at using their tacticals. For my stack, I use the Microflex. Most people seem to use it as well. Um, since it's a flex weapon, you're going to be in more close range battle, so it actually helps you not to have that little bit of extra zoom. Muzzle brake over the infantry compensator. Um, Dasha uses a muzzle brake. I know Formal and R Cities use the compensator. I like the muzzle brake. The QBZ has this weird jump to the left occasionally, and this just doesn't give you the opportunity to have that. Ranger barrel, same reasons. Um, field agent, 40 round drum, airborne raider. Um, if I wasn't running gearhead, I'd probably run scavenger, and if I was playing search, I would run assassin. Um, assassin over scavenger for search, so you don't pick up ammo off the ground and give away your position. 7-4-U with the new GAs, you're not allowed to run a mag, you're not allowed to run a muzzle. Um, actually at the start of my last video is when I had just stopped running the muzzle anyways and was using a 40 round drum. That has been GA'd, so you just run a 4 attachment 7-4-U, extended barrel, speed grip, last wrap, last stock. Uh, exactly the standard. This is the exact same setup, except instead of tack mask, I use engineer. For all of these in a more competitive scene, I would just be running Lawbreaker with the two red perks and Ninja. That goes for any other 5 attachment class setup. I recently switched from the Tundra to the Pellington. Without Tiger Team, they both give a lot of hit marks anyways, and the Pellington just zooms in a little bit more. I run Stabilizer, Combat Recon, Infiltrator Grip. Last wrap, last stock. The exact same as my last Tundra video, um, just with the Pellington now. These next five classes are basically you know, GA free. Um, I don't use them very often. I've actually never used this gun ever, unless I pick it up off the ground. I actually just put it on today, though. Um, not even 100% sure on the attachments. That's how much I don't know about this gun. Um, I have infantry compensator, extended barrel, field agent grip, last wrap, last stock. This gun's essentially a mini AR. 
So that's where I feel like a lot of these attachments will work on the gun. Um, I have to imagine they're actually pretty standard on the gun. And the iron sights you know, are, are pretty clean, so you don't need an optic. So same as QBZ, you get to run a pretty decked out gun. Um, MP5, I don't run a muzzle on mine. I run the reinforced heavy, speed grip, 40 round drum, elastic and raider. If the recoil is too much for you, I would take off the, the 40 round drum and run a muzzle brake. If you really want a laser, you can run muzzle brake with field agent. Um, believe it or not, the MP5 is actually pretty good at range, but I just don't feel it's smart or necessary to run a sub without having the speed grip. Um, XM4 class, you know, in case I ever have to break it out, I still really don't. I think I did once today and it's probably the first time in, since the GA, so a week and a half, two weeks. An AK class, uh, I will use this if the other team is using an AK. Um, just fight fire with fire and you know I have to be pretty irritated in order to pull out any of these classes so um, I like the mill stop reflex on my AK don't know why just feel like the shots seem to connect more they just look cleaner to me Spetnaz Compensator, Liberator that's the Spetnaz version of the Ranger Steady Aim Laser I just said you know what screw it I'm already breaking every GA by using the gun um, speed grip, you can use Spetnaz grip, but I've always liked the speed grip with the AK. Doesn't have a whole lot of bounce. You get less shooting move speed reduction, and you're faster around the map. 40 round mag, last wrap, last stock, all pretty standard AR. And then the overkill class. I will pull this out. Usually if I pull this out, that means two or three of their players are using it. And... That doesn't bother me as much as if their sniper is constantly blocking lanes that I would normally push through, rush through. Then they just kind of leave me no choice. They broke the GA first. It is what it is. Um, as I said earlier, they could get rid of overkill. I'm actually waiting for them to get out, get rid of overkill. And I would be more than happy. Search, when everyone has a sniper on their back, um, is really not fun. And Search is my favorite game mode. If you have any questions, if you feel like I sped through anything too fast, if you want to see more videos like this, um, if you hated it, um, feel free to leave a comment below, like, subscribe to the channel. I'd appreciate it if you subscribed. I'd like to get to 100 just so I can change the URL, um, just because I'm weird like that. And you know, I post nearly every day. I try to make the videos, you know, entertaining and just kind of show highlights. I've definitely been getting better as I go along, so. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.